So this is a paper based on the work that we've done over the last year as part of the Seattle flu study to understand whether or not a strategy of collecting a swab from people at home and sending it in for testing can help in community detection of coronavirus. This particular strategy was the one that allowed us to find early cases of coronavirus here in Seattle, um, particularly in February, and identified uh, evidence of community transmission of coronavirus in the United States. It was significant because um, at the time we didn't know that there was community transmission of coronavirus. The thought was that all the cases in the United States were imported cases from other countries. One of the things that we found in this paper is that the people who we found early on in this pandemic didn't have um, very severe symptoms and they didn't come in for care. Um, that many of them stayed home, um, and this was the only evidence that they had coronavirus infection. And what it shows is that there are probably, and continue to be, um, there probably were and will continue to be cases in the community that go undetected. So for us to be able to really get a handle on this pandemic going forward, we have to have a strategy where there is widespread testing that allows us to capture these people. A lot of the traditional surveillance systems in place rely on people coming into the hospital or the clinic when they're sick and then having a sample collected, which is then tested for flu or, or coronavirus or any other respiratory virus. I think it means that as we move towards a time where we need to roll out large-scale diagnostic testing in the community to be able to reopen and to restart the economy, um, we really need to think about these kinds of more innovative strategies to understand community-based um, incidents and then also to understand uh, who may be carrying the virus who may not necessarily be sick or coming in for care. So, um, and so it will allow us to catch cases early. It will allow us to develop a system to, um, to, uh, to map um, where the hotspots might be coming up. It would allow us to be able to take measures more quickly to be able to slow down transmission. It decreases the, um, the risk of somebody coming into the clinic and affecting other people. It also increases the possibility of you being able to identify people early in their illness and then to find people who may not necessarily come in for care. The main thing, I think, is to see if using a self-swab collected at home with nobody watching you is going to be um, as good at detecting the virus as going to a clinic and having somebody put the swab in your nose and then testing that. And so we're doing those studies now, um, and, the, and we should have answers for, for that particular portion shortly. The other main question is if you take a sample at home and then you put it in the tube and then you put it in the mail and it sits in the mail for a couple of days, what does that do to the virus? And so we've done those studies already, and that looks fine. And so right now, if you go to the website, you can request a kit to be sent to your house. Um, there's a limit on the number of kits that go out every day, but, um, but that's certainly possible. It's, it's free of charge. It goes to your house. You collect a swab. You send it back. And if you're positive, um, you are notified.